Hello and welcome to mathswithdavid.com. I'm David Swanson and today I'm going to be working through an applied differential equations question from the P1 Pure 1 Mathematics paper of the Cambridge International A Level. As always, we'll start by reading through the question. The diagram shows the curve y equals 2x squared and the points x brackets minus 2 comma 0 and p brackets p comma 0. The point q lies on the curve and pq is parallel to the y-axis. 1. Express the area a of triangle xpq in terms of p. The point P moves along the x-axis at a constant rate of 0.02 units per second and Q moves along the curve so that PQ remains parallel to the y-axis. 2. Find the rate at which A is increasing when P equals 2. OK, so the question is asking us to find the area of the triangle, which most of the time when we're asked to find an area of the triangle, the first and most basic formula we're going to look to use is half of the base times the height. So we're going to look at the diagram and see, well, is there a base that we can determine the length of in terms of P? And is there a height that we can find in terms of P? Well, the base is fairly straightforward. It goes across from X to P. And so that's from minus 2, 0 to P, 0. And so the length of it is P minus negative 2. P minus negative 2, that has a length of P plus 2. Now, as for the height, we can see the top corner of the triangle intersects the curve y equals 2x squared. And we can see that the x-coordinate there is p, because that's a vertical line, and the bottom of it is p, 0. So what we can say is the point q, the x-coordinate is p, and the y-coordinate is 2p squared. So if we think about the height of this, it's the difference between the y-coordinates, 2p squared minus 0, so it's 2p squared. So we can straightforwardly apply our area formula and say half base times height is half times by p plus 2 times by 2p squared, which is p squared times by p plus 2. Or we can write that as p cubed plus 2p squared. OK, for the second one, we want to find the rate at which a is increasing. So we want to know the rate at which a is increasing over time, so the change in a over time. And we do this in two steps. First, we consider the change in A as P increases, and then we consider the change in P over time, because P is what's actually on our graph on the, going across the x-axis here. So how does the area change as P increases? Well, we've already said above that the area is P cubed plus 2P squared. So as we increase P, the change in area as P changes, which we can write as dA over dP, we simply need to differentiate this. So the differential of P cubed, we multiply by the power and take 1 from the power is 3P squared, plus the differential of 2P squared, we multiply by the power and take 1 from the power, so 4P. So the change in area as we change in P is 3P squared plus 4P. Now we have to think, how is P changing over time? Well, we're told that. We're told that P will go along the x-axis at a constant rate of 0.02 units per second. So the change in P over time, dP dt, is equal to 0.02. So as we want the change in area over time, dA dt, we can say using our chain rule that dA dt is dA dp times by dP dt. So in this case, we've got 3p squared plus 4p, all times by 0.02. And we, we were asked about the rate when p equals 2, so we can substitute p in there. So we've got 3 times 2 squared, 3 times 4, which is 12, plus 4 times 2, which is 8, so that's 20 altogether, times by 0.02. So 2 hundredths of 20, which is 40 over 10, or 0.4. Let's think about how the marks are assigned on this question. There are two marks on the first part of the question. One method mark for using the formula half base times height. That doesn't mean just writing the formula down, but that means attempting to put the information you're given into that formula, even though it may not be completely accurate. 
and then you get a second accuracy mark for getting the final answer of p squared times by p plus 2, or p cubed plus 2 p squared, depending on how you wrote it. And then there were three marks on the second part of the question. You got the first mark for correctly differentiating and finding out dA dP, which was 3 p squared plus 4 p. That was an accuracy mark. The second was a method mark for noting to use the chain rule, noting that dA dT could be written as dA dP times by dP dT. And then a third and final accuracy mark for getting 0.4 as the final correct answer. That's the end of the question. I hope that's been useful to you. Uh, we have other pure mathematics questions on the website at www.mathswithdavid.com and we're continually uploading them onto YouTube. So we recommend you subscribe using the link that we'll put at the end to make sure that you're kept in touch with those. Thanks for your attention and goodbye.